Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Thursday the 15th of November where I choose just one of our many signals that we send out, out to our members for potential long fifth wave trades and short fifth wave trades. As you can see here in the members area, if I click on long fifth wave trades there, I could download the spreadsheet by just clicking on the image. I'm going to look at short fifth wave trades today for the 15th of November. Uh, so let's have a look at what the spreadsheet looks like for today. Uh, so we have on the 15th of November, I'm looking at a 60 minute time frame. We're going into the weekend. I don't want to um, go too long a time frame at the moment, just in case markets do turn around and I'm looking for some shorts. At the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see potential dailies and weeklies in the tabs there. I'm going to concentrate on the 60 minute today and just one of these signals. So let's have a look at the chart. So I've chosen ADNT. Uh, Adiant PLC core on the 60 minute time frame. This is our Elliott Wave indicator suite from TraderFifth.com for the Think or Swim trading platform. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation, and Multi Charts. We can see up here recently had some highs intraday and then we've had this bearish uh, trend over the last week or so. Um, and this is what we're interested in right now, this wave four pullback. Uh, so let's have a closer look at this and see what that means and have a look where we uh, arrive at the signal. So the first thing is we've had a pullback against the main trend. In this case, it's labeled a wave four in our indicator suite. And that's what we're interested in because we want to trade that fifth wave back down. So the wave four has found initial resistance in our amber zone of our probability zones here and that gives it an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five low intra automated target zones around about $20 into that zone there <clears throat> the next thing we look at is the behavior of that wave four and that's got a pullback between 90 and 140 percent as you can see uh, as we stand as of the close of yesterday we have pulled back between 90 and 140 percent the next is the behavior of that way for again and that we've pulled back against the the oversold zone here we've pulled back in the overbought zone and we're crossed over and wanting to go back down now i'm also using part of our uh, day trading add-on suite as well the multiple time frame dot cloud here so the bottom of the dots this is the weekly time frame and that's showing red so that's below what we have our, our w5 t ema cloud so that's showing overall bearish trend that we're in longer term then we have um the th three day the two day the four hour and the hourly that we're in right now and we got the red square at the top there so that denotes a really strong bearish trend so that gives us our overall uh trend so builds up that probability that this is a pretty good uh, short fifth wave trade the earnings was the reason for this big move down um, gap down and further move for the wave three and then we've had the wave four pull back against there into our probability zones now we're looking to go short so i've got the entry at 2348 which is way below our six four moving average low part of our indicator suite here uh, and also then the stop loss is at 2511 just above the wave four high there so i've gone for a conservative entry here i want to make sure it breaks out of this little range that it's formed over the last couple of days so i want to make sure it's way on its way back down 2348 entry and the target's 20 dollars. so risk to reward there of over one to two into that target zone there so great risk to reward whilst still remaining conservative on the entry for today uh, so that's it very very simple setup from our stock scanner membership using our Elliott wave indicator suite uh, trading that fifth wave the highest probability move in an Elliott wave sequence remember target twenty dollars down here for ADNT on the 60 minute time frame so that's it for today have a great trading day speak to you all tomorrow